Okay, for this video, I'm looking at the level one problem from websec.fr. This took me quite a bit to figure out, um, and actually had to look up uh, a write-up for it in order to figure it out. But uh, let's get right into it anyways. So taking a look at the page here, it looks like we're submitting a query. Uh, you know, we're looking for a, or we're submitting a user ID in order to get a username. So one was already actually loaded on the page when I, when I entered. So let's try that. You see we do get the username level one. Let's try two. Two returns the username as well. Three. Let's see if we find the flag in here. Now four. Now, okay. So at this point, I was a little bit confused on, you know, what to do. Uh, I tried a few different SQL injection payloads and um, none of them really worked. Um, but, you know, when I was working on them, um, you know, let's try and enter a string here and they were input as strings. Uh, I did get this warning page. Um, and on this page, I saw that it, um, this website's actually using SQL Lite. So knowing that, I took a look into SQL Lite a little bit more, um, read into it, but still wasn't able to figure it out. So I did look into a write-up and let's take a look at that right now. All right, looking at this write-up by Faisal Hazamwala, um, we can figure out the problem. So uh, the payload that he uses um, basically figures out the query you use to create the return table uh, when you submit this input. So let's let's try out his uh, input right here, or his payload right here, and put it in and submit that. You see that uh, we get the SQL query returned, create table users, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this basically lets us know how um, the return table is created. And knowing that, we can see that users has um, an ID, which we knew, a username, which we knew, and then a password, which we didn't know before. So now that um, we know that has a password, you can use a similar uh, injection. Um, as you can see, we can use uh, Fuzzels again, but uh, it's almost the same in, um, injection as before, except instead of uh, SQL and group and cat, which uh, the function returns a string from the database, we have password. And instead of SQL like master, um, we have users. Since we don't want to select from the entire master table, we just want to see from users. So using this payload that Faisal provided, um, let's see what we get. Okay, you see that right here, this is the flag. Uh, and this problem in general wasn't too hard. Uh, it's just more of figuring out the payload. It probably would have been better to try to attempt this problem using Burp Suite or Zap, but uh, I wanted to try and stay away from those for this problem, um, which I kind of regret, but apart from that, it, was, it wasn't too bad, and I hope this video helps you out. Thank you.